Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FM8 Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to do a remake of the arpeggiator sound from Dioro's 5 Hours track. So if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel already, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. And also get yourself over to our website, fm8tutorials.com. Tons more tutorials on there featuring Native Instruments FM8. And also, there should be a link appearing on the screen right now. Click on that link and you can download the patch that we're remaking in this tutorial from the FM8 Tutorials website. So let's start off, create a new sound in FM8. I've got a little bit of processing on this channel as well, so mute that for now. I'll show you the process that I went through to get the arpeggiator sound. So we've got this Dioro 5 Hours original. <laughs> So what I actually did was that arpeggiator riff, ran it through Melodyne and then we got this kind of MIDI pattern. And then what you can do with the latest version of Melodyne is go to settings, save as MIDI uh, and just call it Dioro Art and it just saves that MIDI file. So put it on the desktop say for now. And uh, let's close this instance of FM8. So then we can mute this track uh, and just any kind of instrument track. Let's navigate to our MIDI file, the RO art, what we put on the desktop and bang it in here. And in here I've just got an instance of massive, default instance of massive playing a sawtooth wave, so and we can hear a few quite sort of and we can hear some of the notes in there aren't quite right. So for starters, let's quantize these. But what we can also do with Logic now is do scale quantize. So we're listening to that riff. Right there, that green note there didn't sound quite right. So let's try scale quantize to a natural minor. And it's just quantized all those notes to a natural minor scale. And that sounds a bit more on point there, those notes now. So with those notes set up, what I went and did was into FM8. And you're looking at those notes here. Use that as a guide to create the same riff in the arpeggiator in FM8. So... With this new sound set up, and we've just got this C3 note playing, let's recreate that arpeggiator riff. So, going to change the speed to eighth notes here, and key sync this as well, and change the note length to about 91, and turn it on. So, we've got that same kind of rhythm and pattern of the original arp, and. I'm just going to go through here and so the first step, I'm going to go minus nine, second step plus one octave and seven semitones, so effectively plus 19 semitones, same on the third step, fourth step plus two octaves and three semitones, so, so we've got the start of it sorted there, and then let's go another plus two octaves and plus three semitones plus two octaves and two semitones and then another minus nine semitones and plus one octave and plus ten let's have a listen to that and let's keep going through until we've got this riff so plus one octave nine semitones plus one octave and seven and plus one octave and seven two octaves and three semitones Go minus nine again plus two and two plus one and seven plus one and nine so the first half of the riff is sorted there so we need to get the second so we need to get the second half sorted so Minus five semitones on the first, on the minus five semitones on the seventeenth step, and and then plus one octave and plus ten semitones. So this this part of it is a bit of a kind of long-winded process setting up this arpeggiator riff. But once we've got this set up, 
you can just copy these settings what I'm entering in here. Once we've got this set up, then we can use this ARP and just create a sound. And you know, we don't have to just necessarily keep it true to the DRO original ARP. We can use this as some kind of inspiration to create our own ARP sounds and stuff. So you can see I'm still going through plus one octave and ten semitones in there, plus one octave and nine. And the great thing about the arpeggiator in FM8 is that you've got four octaves to play with, so you can have this real kind of like this riff here, it's scaling so many different octaves, so you're getting a lot not a nice you're getting a lot of nice variation in the kind of notes and stuff, so and then the last one minus two semitones. Okay, so that's our arpeggiator riff sorted out. Let's go and sort the sound out now. So we're gonna use all six operators, or the main operators, A through to F, and I'm gonna route them all through the filter. I wanna filter for this sound. Turn the filter on there as well, and route that to the output. And go back to this ops page. So let's start off operator F. I'm gonna have a one plus two plus three saw. I'm gonna take the ratio down by two octaves, so 0.25. I'm going to key sync all of these operators as well for a nice consistent tone. And select a sawtooth wave in operator E and take this to 0.775. Another sawtooth wave in operator D. 0.5 on the ratio. C, I'm going to have a square wave. 0.25 uh, sawtooth wave in operator B and 0.5 on the ratio, so down one octave. And the sine wave in operator A, I'm going to take this right down to 0.125, so it's going to be like the low end in our sound. And uh, let's just push this cut off up for now so you can hear it a bit better. So that's a bit better, that's a bit more like the sound that we're after. Let's root some of these operators into themselves just to kind of just grit them up a little bit really, distort them. And let's feed operator F into D, about 40, and also into C, about 35. Okay, a bit closer to the sound we're after, let's go to this master section now. Let's increase the voices to two and take this detune up a bit. And I noticed on the original, there's quite a lot of width on the ARP sound. So let's pan those voices out. And let's push this digital right up as well. Let's go to the envelope section now and let's just link all of these envelopes together and just take the sustain down a bit. So push this decay up a bit. And just pull it a bit shorter maybe. And now let's move to the filter section. Push this envelope amount up, so we're activating the filter envelope here. And let's just go for a plucky sort of envelope. Take this cut off frequency down. push the spread up a filter too. And then we can tweak this envelope amount here. Let's go to this easy morph section. Let's apply a bit of vibrato to the sound. Maybe a little bit of detuning. that let's see what that's done there okay so we maybe didn't want to detune all of these operators so quite so much one two five reset some of those so yeah something like that should be okay and also with the vibrato applied there push up a bit 
let's move to the effects section now. Let's apply some overdrive. Some shelving EQ. And a peak EQ to boost some of the kind of low frequency, low element in the sound. Reverb. That's working quite nice. Some chorus. Let's pull this dry wet down. And I've got a couple of other extra effects in here. So I've got the logic overdrive. Just driving the sound a bit. I've got some tape delay. And some stereo imaging with the isotope ozone. Maybe a bit too much. And some compression, which is just catching the peaks of the sound, so just raining the peaks in a bit. And I mean, essentially, was getting the most important thing there was getting the arpeggiator right, and then. And then we can take it in whichever direction we wish to. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. Also get yourself over to our website, fmhtutorials.com. Also posted a link up on the video screen to download the patch that we've remade in this tutorial, just in case you had any trouble remaking it. You remade it, it didn't sound quite right and stuff. So you can download the patch. And yeah, thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.